JEH Stallion Station has a remarkable sire selection standing a stud that will add speed to any program. JEH is well known for producing winners of numerous major stakes races time and again with the likes of Trace Sace, A Political Jess, and New Mexico bred Brook Stone Bay in the genetic offering. Why not explore your options with us? Endless possibilities with winning results. JEH Stallion Station. It would be easy to believe that trainer Jack Brooks has come out of retirement. His longtime clients, Terry Bell and Bud Hill, have three Rainbow Futurity qualifiers. And the trainer of record, Raymond Vargas, worked for Brooks for over 20 years. But this is a brand new arrangement. For years I had a herd of horses and then when I did decide to retire, I kind of got away from it completely there for a couple, three years and played with my grandkids and spent time there on the farm doing stuff that I needed to do and kind of got away from it. but. It's been one of the best things for me to get back into it like I have, and these guys have given me this opportunity to have part of this one horse and to be in it with them, and it's, it's really a great deal. Brooks picks the horses and acts as mentor and overseer, but Vargas is the day-to-day -day guy at the track. Yes, Raymond worked for me for years, and he's really a good hand and is a, be a super trainer. I mean, he does all the little things that you need to do. He's just really a good hand and he's there all day. He does his job and uh, I thought it would be one of the best things for me to oversee it a little bit and let Raymond take the horses and it has been great for us. Vargas knows he's fortunate to have had a scholarship to the Jack Brooks Training School. It was a great education, you know, way, but you had to, he didn't say much, but you had to really, pay, you know, look and pay attention to everything and that's how you pick up stuff. You know, you come in here and and um, that's like the young guys coming in this business. You got to want to really want to do this job because it takes a lot to learn. It's not overnight, you know, it's a lot of hours and a lot of days and you have good and bad. So far it has been very good for Vargas who went out on his own just last year. The stable leader is Mighty B. Valiant, fastest qualifier to the rainbow and whose resume includes a win in the Remington Park Futurity and a second in the Heritage Place. He's really a great colt and he showed this from the beginning, you know, he's just kind of a superstar, he's just a natural, you know, he's kind of a, almost what we call a freak in the racehorse business, he's just one of them that's really got a lot of talent, you know, and if everything goes right for him, he's just one of them that can really get down the racetrack and run you some time. Mighty B. Valiant was entered in the Heritage Place yearling sale, but failed to meet his reserve. So far, it's his only failure. This colt actually, when I went to the farm, you know, he didn't look quite like the other two colts that we qualified, but the time it comes sale time from the last of June to September, this colt made quite a change, and that's when I told Terry that, you know, for us to sell this colt and not get a lot of money, we can't let him go. This burger is an individual, you know, and sure enough, he turned out to be a runner. Brooks is also high on Jess Cuervo, who posted the second fastest rainbow time. This colt at Remington, he got that little bit of crud that we get around the racetrack sometime and ran a temperature and really, you know, he just didn't run the races like I thought he would because when we were breaking these colts, you know, I thought he was right up with Mighty B. Valiant, but he, uh, at Remington, after he got sick and run that temperature and even though we thought it's all the vital signs for good, he just didn't run like he should, but he ran a big race here in the trials and he looked like his old self. Jockey G.R. Carter qualified all of the you and me runners. He chose to stay with Mighty B. Valiant, leaving Brooks and company to find some replacements. Well, I've watched Cody Jensen, you know, and I watched him at Remington while I was retired and I've seen him get on horses at other riders and he seemed to kind of improve a horse over other riders. And Cody is a super rider, you know, he's really a good rider and I thought he was a good choice on Jess Furbo. And then Juan Vasquez, Juan has rode a bunch of horses for me. He won the Derby on Mighty Invictus for me at Lone Star, and he won a bunch of races over the years for me. And I decided that Juan would really fit the black horse why I am quick good. So with all the decisions made, it's time for Raymond Vargas to lead three qualifiers to the paddock for the Rainbow Futurity. It's a feeling he's waited a long time for, and the current arrangement seems to suit everyone just fine. It's hard to describe it because, boy, it's really special. It's hard just to qualify it, and um, to have this kind of horse, it's, it's, it's a blessing, you know, it's because a lot of people been in, in this game in a lot of years, and they work hard and everything, and um, things don't go right, and 
but I learned one thing, you just don't give up, you know, something don't go right, you just got to get up the next morning and try harder, and that's how this game works for me. Now, I think this is kind of the way, you know, I want to do it. It's I get to do what I want to, and I don't have to get up at 4.30 every morning. I know when I get here, Raymond's going to be here if I do come, you know, and he's here every day doing the job, and so this is really a, a good deal for me. I can enjoy the crowd. I can enjoy all the fun, and enjoy the horses because my love is for the horses and so it's it's really been great for me this coming fall join heritage place in oklahoma city for their annual quarter horse yearling sale the industry's largest sale event is scheduled to begin at 10 a.m on thursday september 15th so mark your calendar and make your plans now to be in oklahoma city this three-day offering will consist of nearly 1,000 head of the finest quarter horse yearlings presented at auction anywhere this year in the country. We invite you to join us, Heritage Place, where champions are sold. Travel accommodations provided by La Quinta in Ruidoso, the horseman's home away from home.